Well, what's up guys? Now this one's gonna be a doozy. This is gonna be Watcher Blurricade with a massive genetic algorithm that I can exhume to play again. Let's put that in perspective. Blur, Watcher, genetic algorithm, exhume. Enjoy this one, guys. It was a fun one. It utilizes some of my favorite things, which is blocking for a lot and doing a lot of damage. Doesn't everybody love doing that? I know I do. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Now we're going to go to Treasurer's Territory. A class that I'm unfamiliar with. But Devil Farm rears his ugly head yet again. Devil Farm rears his ugly head yet again. We already know how strong that is. Then we have Third Eye Deceive Reality, so we have some decent block already. We have Flurry of Blows, which is a pretty decent attack. An empty body as well for more block and more uh, stance changing, which could be very useful. Crushed runs and True Grit. I mean, cr Crushed runs and a Cut Through Fade, which are very fantastic common attacks. So we have a lot of good common cards, and we have one good, very good rare, and uh, yeah, not, not the worst. Take care, T-Peaks. Nice. Maybe send for some random. Um... Some random prismatic creatures degraded. Yeah, we can try that at some point. Take a look at the elites. How many elites can this deck do reasonably? Well, there's only two elites. We can, we can fight three elites if we want to get an early shot, which I don't. I don't want an early shot, but maybe I can do a sparkle later on. So what I'm seeing here is like this. The problem with this is that it's between a campfire or not. It depends on how strong we are. The other path is like, there's this, but that includes a shop, which we don't like. Imagine Pandarica's only bash. Yeah, that's a quick way to get infinite. Just get rid of all your cards. I have to figure out how to use the watcher. This empty body ever farm is pretty good, huh? If I have to do this first, <laughs> I forgot to do that first. Okay. Can Headbutt do anything to generate? Does Headbutt do anything to generate here? Anything to generate? It's a very powerful card, Headbutt. It can lead into uh, some Cut Through Fate stuff, right? Headbutt, Cut Through Fate combo. What would be a good thing to hit headbutt? I don't know. I don't know yet, but I know the headbutt is a very powerful card, so. Okay, if we were to remove a card, what would we remove here? Are you guys liking collect? Or do we think it feels bad getting rid of collect, right? Because it gets rid of itself. And sometimes it gets rid of itself and gives you energy. So collect is versatile. It feels bad to get rid of it. So what do we want to get rid of? Do we need to chalk this up as a, an event that missed? This event didn't do much. Probably don't want to do anything at all. I think all their cards are probably just fine. I could get rid of a third eye, I suppose. Third eye... I suppose third eye is not completely necessary. It's, it does help our block profile. To have some, some block. But once you have Deborah Farm, Deceive Reality Safety is probably like going to be really, really strong. I don't hate the third eye. Uh, I think I value the gold more. I would call that a miss. Big fat miss. 
That's a good example of collect being useful because now I transform that calm energy into miracle pluses. And why is that good? Because I had Devil Form in the deck. I also have Le I also have Lethal because I'm the Watcher. But the point is I have seven energy in turn three. But of course I'm also the Watcher, so I kill in turn three. So yeah, we have this potential, but for what, right? So go for the eyes as our first source of weekend really early. I like that. What about an Invenom? You guys want to see an Invenom Watcher run? There's always this beautiful blend between the Silent and the Watcher. Um, they kind of go well together. So we can take Invenom, and it's kind of hard to play. It would require an upgrade, but once we get it going, we can maybe get some poison. And that does theoretically make sense if Flurry blows. Like, hey, we Flurry blows and add poison. Which is kind of weird because if you're changing stances, you're probably doing so much damage that the poison is negligible at that point, right? More monster train? Oh, I'm going to be playing last spell. Playing la I'm going to play more last spell coming up, so I don't know about monster train anytime soon. And Venom's just going to be a curse. It can be a curse if I can try making it work, though. I don't know. It's just weird because the Wrath Form is going to do so much more. And I probably want to upgrade Eruption first. I guess taking the Venom is a self-imposed challenge. Can I take this card that's pretty bad and make it work? <laughs> It'd be a self-imposed challenge. There goes my rare card chance. <laughs> I guess it could be fun theoretically, yeah. Sure thing, buddy. Let's just deal. Yeah, that's like potentially leading to infinite territory. Let's just deal with potentially leading to some interesting territory. I uh, can get down with that. be taking damage here but is the damage worth it I suppose I could have maybe done it with, with taking no damage as well I don't know genetic algorithm let's make it work let's make it happen Alright, so what I want to do is make it so that uh, I get Devil Form out. Let's start there. And we can even do Collect as well. Now let's begin. I forgot to do that first, yet again. Whoopsies. Whoopsie poopsies. interesting class. Okay, so Tactician. Tactician can lead to some crazy stuff. Like, legitimate infinite stuff. With prepared. I mean, energy's kind of solved in double form, but okay, if we're talking about like infinite territory stuff... Prepare Tactician. Would it have to be Reflex? Prepare Tactician Reflex or maybe Flash of Steel? 
when you prepare plus and then I mean I don't know yeah, we're getting rares that we don't care about I mean search shots are cool it's, it's okay rare but tactician leads to some more interesting stuff we don't have any discard whatsoever but this is like something you take speculatively which is the beautiful thing about the prismatic shard is the speculative picks that you'd have and we say that the speculative tactician is going to lead to great boons in the future if we want to go force infinite i suppose With, at the moment there's a lot of things required to go infinite a form of exhaust for one um a form of discard for one Ah, let's chat decide. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to go with Speculative Tactician and see if we can make something interesting out of it? It's going to be a curse most of the time, though. In case one's spiritual. It will be a curse. My hmm. question is, you want to do the sparkle now or not? Do we die to grab the nub? I guess is the question. I don't see me dying to grab the nub. How does triple century go? Consume is hilarious. Consume just to find capacitor later on. I, I do like the tactician, but it's going to be a long search for the discard. Isaac, stop that. Alright, you know, I guess this is why you get sent out, I suppose. I kind of want to upgrade your neck out. I'm to see how big I can get it. It's sort of a waste of an upgrade. Ouchies. Ouchies. There's a discard, so a tactician would have immediately been discard element. And scoured by flames. All right, we're gonna do a lot of elites back to back. How back could this go, guys? If we were to use a power, would you rather use it here or potentially Grumlin, Nob, Lagavulin? No, it's going to be Gremlin or Triple Century again. Um, what powers could be good for Gremlin up, though? Are there any powers we care to see? No, powers from anything. Uh, oh. Well, those are pretty good. Battle Hammer against Remnant would be pretty decent, huh? Battle Hammer's pretty decent here as well. 
If I do double from here, though, I, I can end up spending my energy elsewhere, though, as well. And also save some life in the process. Should we do eruption stuff? How does eruption sound? Eruption's gonna do how much? Six plus, uh, six plus eight. Okay. 23 damage is not quite lethal, unfortunately. However, if I do this. Cool. Hey, Kamikaze Pilot. Welcome, man. How you doing? Good to have you here. Good to have you here, buddy. Hexagos. I, I like the, the AoE from Cleave, don't get me wrong. And Dagger Spray is also a good AoE as well. Do the AoE stuff. Round 2, this time we don't get to play genetic. But we have Cloak Clasp. Cloak Clasp. How much damage do we have? So I want to get genetic out. It, can you can you blame me? I want to get genetic out, but I could also kill these guys right now. So what do you guys reckon I do? Is genetic scaling more important? How about this? How about this? Let's now stall for genetic. A defrag. A lone defrag. In the wilderness. Oh no. That's really bad. Luckily we have headbutt.
Should help us find genetic, right? Fruit juice. Fire breathing. Fire breathing says the burns in the hexagos now do AOE. Are we interested? You guys don't seem sold. Why do you guys not seem sold? Hmm. I do want to upgrade next so I can make it huge, huge as it can be. It's going to be my front loaded block for this run. What's another good upgrade here? You guys like acrobatics? I like crush joints as an upgrade. Is this like a kind of a silly upgrade? This is a good act 2 upgrade. I feel like crush joints increases our damage output quite a lot. Duality blade ends. Oh, we're in the du du duality territory. We're in the duality territory where blade ends is again a broken card. Oh, we got Deviform next turn. But how much damage are we going to take to get Deviform next turn? That's the question, right? I can get Deviform next turn. At what cost? Gonna cost us a lot. Gonna cost us a lot. Not a little, but a lot. But we can do it. We can do it next turn, though. I can get down with that. Never perform next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Eruption is tempting. Because we have a lot of block with duality. Eruption is tempting. I mean, that's a lot of duality. I just wanted to test it out. Alright, so we know that we can hit up to like 24 blocks, so that's, that's nice to know. Alright, so we're gonna have to start doing damage. So we're starting doing damage now. Like, aka, where the hell is my, uh. Where the hell is my eruption? I, w I wanted to start doing eruption stuff. But we're scaling up in energy, so this is fine. I could even do like double safety here, or I could do this. Wait, does Cloak Class? That doesn't scale with duality, right? For a second it seemed like it did. I was like, what's going on there? I was like, what the hell? That seemed, that seemed quite odd. Really looking for uh, the eruption. It takes way too long to kill when I, I'm so busy doing all this block stuff, I should have been killing. Mister, why are you doing that, buddy? Are you abusing something there that you know is there? Why do you keep doing that? I 
Are you just spamming streamers? Are you just trying to tell me? You want the world to know you're streaming? Alright, we have Vault and Pervious and Pathosis. Okay, Pathosis is interesting. Eh. And Pervious is very good, obviously. But then Vault is just... Uh, I'm gonna go for the Vault here. It's better being the Watcher here. Philosopher's Stone versus whenever you exit combat, you get an additional energy. Or remove two cards. Um. Well... I don't exit calm that much. I don't enter calm that much either. Mm. I don't know if you noticed. I don't like the stone, but. Fan of the stone. I'd like to do double form. Duality things. Can't actually get it from out. On the bright side, I guess I don't need to get it from out. On the bright side, the form doesn't need to get out. Makes the eruption stuff now a lot better because of the uh Ooh, warp tongs. I do like warp tongs. I do do like this, but the pain I do not. So what can we do with this pain? The only way I can remove the pain is all the way over yonder. I had to fight through a couple of elites with this pain in hand. So warp tongs would be fantastic. It wasn't for the fact that I had to survive a lot of floors with pain. That's also an elite with pain. I mean, we're strong enough that we can probably get through an elite with pain, right? This is going to be the biggest risk I've taken the whole game. I want to play genetic algorithm. Oh, the pain seems such a pain in the ass. The fruit helps you manage the pain.
freaking pain. Probably the worst fight for the pain right there, but. Buff is slightly annoying. I'm gonna lose some life getting into through this pain and through this elite, but once we get to the, the shop, uh, we win the run. So once we get to the shop, remove the pain and get here, the, we win the run for the most part. So it's getting to this the issue, huh? I didn't want to see was pain, man. Freak you, pain. Okay, so skim is a main card draw. Meditate allows us to, uh, Contrary also gets rid of the pain as well. Hmm. Tough stuff. Thinking of all more playable was not bad either, actually. What? Like, you want to do crush joints and dagger spray, like, so like, empty body, crush joints, dagger spray, block pot is very good. Because it does so much damage. But then you get Devil Form turn one. Do I just go Devil Form turn one and go for the Crush Wings Dagger Spray stuff? Once we get past this pain, we'll be fine. Just fine. Seems better to do this. What's up, F? Five bit guts. Five bit guts is how I'm gonna interpret that. Scissors and not a pair, not a wrench. Keen observation. Fuck. Ah, the pain. Pain's the worst part here. Everything else I'm happy about. wasn't for that stinking pain. Do we rest because we've got to get through the pain for two, so we're gonna go for two events potentially, right? Do I rest just to be safe? I mean, I guess. Just to be safe, I suppose. To offset the pains. Yeah, you know, I, I often find uh,
Can we get rid of this pain? It's pain, 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 pain. But it's gonna be worth it once it's gone. It'd be great. We gotta get genetic out with the mouth though. So this stall gets genetic out. Genetic scaling has happened. More custom fates. Yeah, it's a pair of scissors cutting like a string, it seems. Oh. Oh, alright. Uh, you guys want to do the big... Oh, boy, but we have a... Uh, we have a... Uh, we have a freaking... One second. All right, let's fight this big boy. It's the pain is the. Oh my god, we keep getting pain turn one. What is this bullshit? Ay ay ay, dude. Ah, uh, I want to crush joints so bad. Did I get genetic eye with them out? Should I stop for genetic algorithm? Let's stop for genetic algorithm. Took one damage to get that genetic algorithm, but. All right, so now, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, oh yeah. Once we get this rid of this pain, oh yeah, life is good now. Okay. Devil form fasting is pretty good, right? So like, the devil form. If we can play reliably, the fasting comes into play. What do we have Dolly's Mirror for? We could Dolly's Mirror the Vault. The genetic algorithm could also Dolly's Mirror. We can start getting two genetic algorithms. Now we have 26, 26 block, and we start scaling this up simultaneously. We have two big blockers in the deck. I think fasting makes some sense. Um, I think we can stall for everything else, right? Nunchaku can be pretty useful, I suppose. And I'll pass on everything else here. Block. I like block. Bolt. Ooh. So we're on the brink of uh, dagger spray killing all of these things, right? Are we digging for dagger spray here? We are, aren't we? I mean, I was digging for Dagger Spray, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. And now here it is. The problem is now we're not crescendoed. Let's change that. We have to do Flurry first, my bad. Isn't it so cool that we don't have, uh... We don't have pain anymore? Like, the deck can do anything now that it has no pain. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have to waste Nunchaku. Just kidding. Anchor's fantastic. What do we do with Fasting Strength? We can put Sword Boomerang, and now we have tons of damage. We can dump our Fasting Strength into Sword Boomerang and have big ass damage. Emphasis on the ass. Do we need it though? Not really. We can do more cut through fades. So bring just kind of adds an element of coolness to the deck because of the fasting involved. And it wouldn't be big booty damage, absolutely. Which is always something to consider. When there's a butt involved and something that's big and damaged, it's like those three things combined is usually a good thing. Who are we going against? The Collector. We never die here. We never die here. Let's dig really far for Devil Form. But the, the question is, Acrobatics doesn't make sense, right? Because of... What did I just play? Cut through fate? I did. Um, acrobatics doesn't make sense because we don't have a way to play Devil Form if we were to find it. Just kidding. We have Nunchaku. Now we have some um, collect energy well, until we find the big beautiful Devil Form. Oh, there it is. We could vault as well if we wanted to. Who's in favor of vaulting? Is that revolting to block here? Uh, vault or we just vigilance? It's just vigilance. Now fasting is in the play. Now fasting plays. We can wait for fasting to get upgraded as well. Theoretically. I do be taking damage here. Therefore, I'll block the damage perfectly. Perfect block utilization. Uh, did we want a fasting? Yeah. I was wanting for it to be upgraded, but. Alright, so now I can just focus on the boss and coincidentally kill the things on the right, right? That's the way it works. It's the way it works. Am I correct? Did we get genetic algorithm out? We haven't. You know what that means, guys. We played genetic. And let's try to stack up Nunchaku. Oh, we got Reaper! But also... Exhum. Exhum brings back the vaults, brings back the genetic. Exhum is just really cool in prismatic decks. It's really powerful. Uh, but Reaper gives us sustain, so now we have sustain on top of everything. They're all very good. What do I want? Do I want the utility from Exhum or do I want Reaper to have sustain? 
Now I'm curious actually. If we exhume genetic algorithm, does it restack itself? That does it allow it to restack itself? In which case, that might be something to think about. We can double scale genetic in a fight. It should be said that Vault is also still a thing. Pretty sure if we double stack genetic, we should zoom, right? Pretty pretty good though, guys. Do we want sustain or do we want um, exhum? Because exhum gives us genetic algorithm and stuff. I don't know. I want them both. Oh, now a coffee table comes into play. So that reaper would have been a nice addition. Echo and exhum are very different concepts, though. Laddie boy. And Reaper's kind of like, hey, man. Let's test it out. Let's test it out. Big zoom, show me what you got. Augers. Love Blur. Blur is fantastic. Red Beardy McGee. Hey yo. Thanks for the raid, big boy. How was your stream? It did work, yeah. So it, it, you can see that it ticked up to 34. So exhumed genetic does work. So now we're going to have to meta scale genetic twice every fight. I'm not complaining though. I am not complaining. Let's get genetic scaled while we can. One good peepbox, one bad. Does it think it's such as, as a bad peepbox? Oh, I didn't think I didn't know that was such a thing as a bad peepbox. I don't know. I've been just peepbox is just broken. I realized there's something bad peepbox. And co-op run almost got there. Interesting. Yeah, co-op should be interesting. Like we we we've won the last three peepbox runs. The last peepbox one we just had was absolutely ridiculous. I forgot to bring an attack. I was so focused on talking crap that I forgot to bring an attack. Regardless, we did get the uh... The Cloak and Dagger does give Nijaku, but other than that, it's whatever. Right, let's see what we got the shop. We got Abacus. Now, Abacus would have been a welcome... Mm, okay, let's take a look at this Abacus. If we get theoretically, Flash of Steel... No, nah, this is not really a deck that's going infinite, unfortunately. It would have liked to if I... It just wasn't going in infinite direction, so Abacus is unfortunately not here. You've had a P-Bucks that's out of this can't find next one. I've also had a streak of eight winners, so... Yeah, it's very. I guess it could be inconsistent for sure. It's definitely on the strong side for sure, though. I could imagine there's one like a pretty bad P box of no attacks that just decimates you. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Panache? No. I'm thinking about pendant here. 
I'm also thinking about if I want to remove this this third eye or not. Knee prep blocks for six with Abacus. Ooh, the combos. Now we're getting there. Ragnarok was interesting, actually, as well. So do we want to do four elites? Or, sorry, three elites? Or uh, go for an event instead and maybe uh, potentially find Mind Bloom? So it... Remember, we didn't take the Reapers, so now we are a little bit... That's fine. One thing's for sure, we are going to get the genetic scaling, though. For, for sure, for sure, for sure. No, I gotta wait for Exhum to hit the genetic. Oh, lord. They always upgraded. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, that's a decent blur, though. <laughs> it's fine. There's more block where that comes from. I have an exhum waiting for it. I'll do this. There's a blur um, spirit shield waiting for our with our name on it. But before we do that, Stacking in Chaco would be something I, I should care about, potentially. But I also don't care about it. Shockwave, however, I do care about significantly. Shockwave is a doozy. Now imagine having nothing but Vault on turn one. Now we can get into Wrathform immediately because, you know, he's not very threatening in the first couple turns. Um, this is a pretty piss poor turn one hand, but I, I, I'm going to go out and say that the Vault makes a lot of sense with the eruption. Oh, double form. And on top of it is fasting. That's nice. And getting that shock with that would be quite nice. Oh, I forgot to do that first for extra block, but neither here nor there. We did that without genetic algorithm. Now wait till we get genetic algorithm. I mean, that's ridiculous. Let's find a... Uh so much block. It would be quite sickening if uh, I had Blur that turn. Now, we have Blur this turn, so we need to get Genetic. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to get Genetic. Hey, what's up, uh, Literary Snorlax? This is... Uh, I do want to get Genetic, so let's see. This skim is pretty positive in terms of... Searching for genetic here. Oh, I killed them. Fuck, I didn't even get genetic played once. I did so much damage. I... Oh no, I didn't scale genetic at all. That's tragic. That's absolutely tragic. It's heartbreaking. Even. 
I guess the solution here is that it's very important to uh, play genetic as soon as you see it in that case. Now, if we lose the run by missing that much... There we go. There's, I guess I'll be a man of my own word there. Let's get ready to uh, exhume it. A... And I don't gotta worry about a damn thing. I don't gotta worry about a damn thing now. I got all my scaling out. Of course, the run is extremely simple. Killing me one attack here would be great for Ninchaku purposes. No, it didn't happen. How can we make it? What's an attack that kills? Dagger spray is an attack that kills. Perfect. Nope, it doesn't. Blur it overrides calipers. Same, the left, same. Alright, so we can recall now or we can fight another elite. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, look at this. I was gonna vault, but 32 block. It's not bad. More blurs would be fantastic, though. I would like some more blurs. Let's get the genetic scaling. I was gonna go for the kill, but uh, it's important that I scale the genetic because the kill can happen at any point. So let's focus on what matters. Which is a stupid amount of block. Spoon, where we get pendant stack. So we traded the uh, Ninjaku for this pendant here. Let's fight this. Let's fight! Oh, look, we got the exhumed shit. Look, we got it already. Yay! I can scale both my genetics immediately. Nah, I just need to go win the game. That's pretty much it. Oh, I would like some better potions for the heart, right? So like a potion belt would be great if I can get like hold on to some key potions. Stop their vulnerable. So there's certain things I can use, of course. Um, I can play with genetic twice here, or I can keep the the good thing roll. I don't know. Is it worth playing genetic twice here? I don't have calipers, but maybe, okay, for a twisted turn of events and manifestation purposes, this is going to drop calipers. I think Pandora's box runs are too easy, though. So, how do you keep it fresh? No, we can exhume it and we can headbutt it back. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm stinking. That's what I was thinking. And look, there it is. As I said it would be. Oh, we need a card that kills, and that is exactly this card. And Chuck was perfectly stacked.
Dramatic Entrance isn't the worst. It isn't the worst card. You can imagine it's not the worst card. Right? It doesn't do that much, but it, it is, it's also not the worst card. Uh, it's, not, it's quite a good card, but we have 5 energy, and what do I need to do AoE damage to? You gotta give yourself one of those bad bat relics to balance it out. Well, I was wondering what Red Beardy thinks. Because he's doing them, right? And Paparato's doing them. I'm not sure what I need an eight AoE for, though. Cool pendant percent of stuff. Good for this fight as well. Oh wow. Well. I have to have a genetic now. Now I gotta head with genetic. I also didn't liquid remember is it. So that I can just like skip you know speed up my, my timeline here. Speed up the timeline. I keep all this for Prime, I appreciate that a lot. I like how they're just killing themselves and giving me energy. Isn't that kind of cool? Kind of respect that. So now we want to go a deep dive for uh, Dagger Spray. Deep dive for Dagger Spray, guys. Are we confident we can find it? Hey, we found it. What do you know? Did we play genetic twice already? We didn't. That's a shame. <gasps> do we have time? What's up, Trouble General? Uh, you better tell me see each my goal beating the heart of each class. Watch out, was the hardest for me. Congrats, man. I'm glad to hear that. So I'm gonna go to this this process of um Not in play. Yeah, blur. Yeah, I agree. A hologram would be great, right? A hologram for blur. We would love to see a hologram for blur here. I really not want to take damage from this fight, you know? Looks like I might take a little bit of damage. I suppose I can heal it up. It's the flesh wound. Just a minor flesh wound. I'm trying to look for blur here. So I'm trying to play my genetic. I 
But I suppose we just gotta kill at this point because... Uh, we gotta play Exhum and then we win. And then we'll go for the kill. While stacking Ninjaku. Mind Bloom? A simple remove. I mean, you could have given me so many events. And this is what you give me. I think the third eye is running out of its place now, though. It's um, no longer as... It's whatever. Yeah, I guess, I mean, the thing about collecting is that it removes itself, and sometimes it's actually quite beneficial because it's spirit, spirit shield, and on a turn where I'm not doing much anyways, collect helps me get the energy for it to perform. I absolutely hate Kurt Pate. Oh, no. I mean, I guess it's okay that the game's easy with Pandora's box, right? It's like, it leads to, like, fun runs that are not as taxing, and you can do some interesting stuff. And there are going to be some seeds that are going to be difficult, so it has its challenges at times. I mean, for being easy, I'm also thinking a lot as well, so I'm spending like an hour or more on this run instead of face rolling it. No, what is the removal target? I'm looking at third eye the most, but maybe you guys have something better in mind. You guys think collect? I just think collect, not only does it get... No, this is not. Collect not only sometimes gives me the... Um, Free turn, but it also gets rid of itself. It's, it's kind of hard for me to think about what to remove here. I kind of like every card in my deck. At least if I put out my, you know, duality block. Are we assuming that we're going to get Deraform in every fight, in which case Collect is no longer necessary? I think collect sometimes leads into like pretty interesting. Uh... There's a lot of leftover block, but a headbutt would be. Oh, look at that. The problem with headbutt is that. Oh, wait. It gives me Ninchaku. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> A terrible, terrible, terrible thing to do. What a terrible thing to do. We gotta scale the genetic one more time. That would have been quite nice to have that. Oh, we got calipers. Oh, and it came to be. Oh, it came to be. It's all come full circle. And the calipers has arrived. Do we want to source a weaken? This would be our first source to weaken. So Calibers helps me in between the turns of Blur, and then the Blur fleshes it out, and then the Headbutt fleshes out the Blur, and all of a sudden we have this contracted Blurricade in between damage that the Watcher naturally has. And that's our first source. Oh, we have Go for the Eyes. We have Weaken already. This could just be a skip. Do have Go for the Eyes. Power Through is sentimental. A special place in my heart. People wouldn't understand. They haven't been through the mud like I have with power through. 
I've seen some shit with power through. Oh, look at that. Look at that turn. Exhuming the genetic algorithm. Okay, I'm down. Let's get fast, you know. And now let's start doing damage. That's a headbutt. Say it ain't so. I think I do like genetic algorithm. Nah, but I also should probably vault instead though, you know? I mean, I just need genetic algorithm to scale it here. But I should probably vault instead. Which means I have to draw back into genetic. That's fine. Eighty-five block left over. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh, and now we have the headbutt. Oh, and now the headbutt is here. Blair's coming. Yes, I could scale up the Ninjaku, but at the same time, it's whatever. is about to be very large. It's like a chakra pendant, which one important? Chakra pendant for the act four leaf. You decide, chat. You want chakra pendant for the act four leaf. Decide now. You guys want pendant? I think the chakra for getting devil form out though, right? I can see pendant as well though. And the bird freeze room was just enough sustain for us. Okay, say no more. Let's see how good the pendulum is actually going to be.
forgot that I, this is only the first phase. I just played a power in the first phase. Like a bonobo. Not working shops, no. So did I get to me move, hit the one behind you? what that means. Mm, that's a good upgrade here. Do we like to upgrade fasting? Is there a world where you make sure the form doesn't get exhausted? But they have exhum, worst case scenario. So what is the best upgrade? This genetic algorithm is very large. Mummified hand is cool. Toolbox is cool. Oh, Dagger Spray does not change directions, no. Perfect goal utilization. I could kill them if I wanted to. I could kill them if I wanted to. And I suppose we want to. But I could also slow down. <clears throat> and get genetic skilled up again. For the sake of the homies. But also, Nchaku. I haven't even played genetic yet. Ah, I haven't even played it. That's a different story. Uh, okay, I guess I have too much damage. Back of prep. A second fasting is not necessary. I mean, clearly, it could be useful. Apotheosis. Does Apotheosis do anything for us? I'll take it, right? We have warped tongues, though. Who wants to think ahead who wants, who wants Apotheosis? I'm gonna go get a water.
supposed to hit Shockwave. It was supposed to hit Shockwave. Supposed to hit Shockwave, my friend. I could theoretically let this be the. I could let this be the. What's it called? The buffer turn. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, double form turn one. Um, here I could um vault. Here I could. Vault. Kind of a waste of because I'm frail. Should probably wait till I'm not frail, right? To use it. Oh, he is adorable. He is. Uh, it feels a way to do this when I at frail. But I mean, that's what it's there for, I suppose, isn't it? Let's go crescendo now. Who's down for some crescendo action? You guys want to zoom? There we go. But now it's important. That we find blur. Now, what's way to find blur? By drawing a shit ton of cards. Did you guys know that if you draw blur and then do headbutt and do blur again, did you guys know that you do unspeakable, think unthinkable things to the heart? You make them cry even? The next step is to enter wrath. Thank you for the bridge trick, but uh, Elo. If you want to save your blur for another day, you do this. Now it's back. The blurricade has never left. <laughs> this is a degenerate run. Absolutely degenerate. Wish your tail was just there for good luck.
GG. That was a pretty fast one. An hour and 20 minutes. Not bad. Not bad, guys.